Happy Friday, dogs. Youth rise, Captain Gowans, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and invisible with liberty and justice for all. Red Ribbon Week is the week after we come back from fall break. Youth Rise is working on activities for the elementary students to participate in throughout the week. There will be dress up days to help all of us students get excited about the choice to be drug free. We would like to encourage everyone here to participate as well. We hope to see you all in your pajamas on Monday after break. Class of 2023, now is the time to order your cap and gown. There will be a price increase in January. Click the link in the chatter for more information. At this time, Herf Jones is not scheduled to return to FHS for another order day. You may also call Herf Jones at 317-731-5413. Now, let's send it to Sports and Weather. Good morning, dogs. To start things off, the Frankfurt High School boys and girls cross-country team completed their annual Running with the Dogs fundraiser, an event by Running with the Dogs from the Frankfurt Humane Society on Wednesday. As a part of our fundraiser for Team Gear, 10% of all contributions were donated, donated to the Humane Society to go along with our community service for Running with the Dogs. The team raised $105 for the Humane Society as a result. This football team started a tradition called My Jersey, Your Impact. Each senior picked a teacher who had made a big impact on their lives and wrote them a letter expressing their appreciation and gave away their jersey to show how much that teacher means to them. It was great to see our guys reflect on all the positive role models they have had over the years. Our staff would like to express our appreciation to all of our staff members who have made such a huge impact. I'll resume in just a minute, but now I'll send it to Abby with your weather report. Good morning, dogs. This morning, walking into school, today was a chilly 36 degrees. Throughout the day, it will be very windy, so make sure to bundle up. The high for today is 61 degrees, and the low for today is 34 degrees. That's all for today's weather. Now back to Garrett. Thanks, Abby. To kick things off in this segment, the Hot Dog football team will be here in action tonight to take on the Crawfordsville Athenians. As it is also senior night for the dogs, let's get a big student section out for them. Don't forget to wear pink if you're an underclassman, and don't forget to wear black if you're a senior. Kickoff is at 7 p.m., as always. And last night, the girls' volleyball team came home with a win last night against the North Montgomery Chargers, defeating them 3-1. The girls won their first set 25-23 and also won their second set 25-21. The girls lost the third set 25-22, but dominated in their fourth set to take home the win with a score of 25-12. The Lady Dogs will be back in action tomorrow night to take on Benton Central at Benton Central. To wrap things up here in the sports section, Nelson found the time to catch up with the new basketball coach, Coach McCullough. Now, to talk a little about what's next for the team this season, I'll send it over to Nelson. Hey, hot dogs. So with the boys basketball season right around the corner, I thought I'd invite Coach McCullough and ask him a couple questions. So Coach, how are we doing this morning? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm good, I'm good. Excited to be here with you. So uh, first question I had for you was, how long have you been coaching? Boy, long time. This is... Uh the fourth school I've been at, so it's covered about uh, four decades. Four decades, wow. Whatever sounds like the least amount. Yeah. 40 years, four decades, pretty close. Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, where, uh, where else have you coached at? I was at a school north of here called North Judson for several years and um, moved down to Noblesville and spent several years there and competed several years against the hot dogs. Uh, while, while I was there. Uh, and then the last several years, I was at a school called Shenandoah, kind of on the, um, in between Anderson and Newcastle. Oh, that's nice. So uh, what drew you to Frankfurt? New challenge. Um, I think there's a lot of history here that intrigues me. Uh, as I said, when I was at Noblesville, uh, we competed uh, several years here for uh, uh, a regional championship and, and got to play in Case Arena. I love this gym. It's one of my favorite gyms. I've coached in a lot of uh, gyms in the state. Um, you know, Newcastle's the largest gym in the nation, seats 9,000. 
uh, Muncie Fieldhouse. Um, there's been some of Mackey Arena. To me, this is a little Mackey Arena. Um, and I, I love the arena, and I love the history, and uh, looking forward to seeing if we can contribute something to that history. That's awesome, yeah. Kiss Arena does seem to draw a lot of people around here. Yeah, people like it. I mean, it's, uh, it's just a neat venue. It's uh, you know, not a bad seat in the house. Yeah. Next question was, uh, what do you expect for this upcoming season? Um, expect to compete. Expect to win. Um, you know, I told the players, uh, I, th I think there's a really good core of young men here. Uh, I think they listen well. I think they're trying to do the right things. Um, you know, want to come in here and, and compete for a conference championship sectional. Uh, try to do some damage in the state tournament. I think the, uh, you know, I think the uh, the conference is outstanding, and I think the uh, the tournament is it's so much fun when you get to tourney time. Uh, we want to do some damage in both those areas. That's, that's awesome. So uh, what's uh, what's the schedule looking like? Well, we're trying to get finalized for a, a holiday tournament uh, around um, December 17th to 20th. Uh, but of course, the the teams in the the Sagamore and uh, you know it's very very competitive. Uh, Westfield is they're supposed to be coming in here to Case Arena at toward the end of the season. So um, you know, I think it's going to be fun because it's you have to be prepared and you have to be ready for the challenge every every time that you go out on a, on a court. As you know, you know, every time out it's a a new opponent. Uh, a new adventure and you know you have to be prepared you got to be ready to go yes sir yes sir so uh do you know when the first game is the wednesday before thanksgiving uh right. clinton prairie so going into a uh, turkey day with a with a ball game um and so that will start us off you know hopefully get off on the right foot there and and uh and get rolling heading into the first holiday the first big holiday it's awesome all righty all dogs so you heard it here first. The first uh, game is November 23rd on the road against Clinton Prairie. And the first home game is December 9th here at home against Tri-West. All righty. So that's all for this segment. Hey, thanks for coming out, Coach. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me in. Thank you. Yep. That's all. This is Nelson signing off. Thanks, guys. A happy birthday goes out to Christian Cruz Sandoval and Zoe Westerman. For lunch today, lines one and two is chicken snack wrap, and lines three and four is mozzarella cheese sticks. That, that's all for today. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Have a freaking fantastic floppy friendly fall break. <laughs>